Uh, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Jolly. This is Chanya, Elisa, and Jeremy. And as you all know, we're here to talk about the lightening of our plastic consumption without, within, a, without, within our communities. Um, as students of Discovery College, we want to adapt three, a three-step plan in order to um, in order to reduce plastic waste. Um, first, being audit. Second, being awareness. And third, being action. Um, we have two targets. Our first target is the School of Discovery College. By starting in a small community, we feel that this will expand into the community of Discovery Bay, targeting private businesses and restaurants to adapt to a plastic-free lifestyle. And um, for the audit section, we intend, uh, in order to fully understand the extent of plastic waste within our school, we aim to hold a uh, plastic waste camp before and after the campaigns. Uh, this will help us evaluate the effectiveness of um, our campaign. <clears throat> part, of this, um, part of this section is also um, to research about the different kinds of plastics there are and um, how they can be recycled, how we can recycle them, um, and their effect on our uh, environment. And all this knowledge will help us in formulating our action plan. Um, so one of our strategies to make Discovery College aware is to install environmental issues units in the primary curriculum. It's important to target younger kids that will have to deal with more serious issues that past and present generations have put on us. We plan to incorporate these topics by proposing specific course outlines to an academic department which is keen on spreading awareness by teaching them basic environmental problems. Our second uh, awareness strategy is to include art students into creating an art exhibition around the school using plastic waste. These students would research into artists that have already used this technique and do a pastiche inspired by these many artists. It is important that these students write a caption explaining what materials they use and the negative consequences the materials have. We need to showcase these artworks into areas of the school where students are exposed to the most, to the most in order to target a larger audience. Um, as part of the exhibition, we'd like, as part of the exhibition, we'd like to um, show what we're striving for, what we're aiming for, and. Um, a large artwork or sculpture will be placed in the courtyard of our school, right next to the entrance, and it will be completely made out of plastic, and it will resemble um, animals, various animals like fish, birds, and humans, because we're all affected by this. Um, aside from the artwork, we'll be also conducting talks with the whole school in assemblies, quickly educate the younger children and the older children that are not aware of this problem. Um, about our action plan and what we plan to do for our community. Um, <laughs> back to the educational talks, to back it up, uh, we'll ha also have a slideshow that is played on the screen right outside our entrance, which is basically a TV that everyone will see once they walk through. This will show uh, statistics, pictures of plastic garbage and how it's detrimental to our lifestyle. Um, when, our dis when our Discovery College campaign is successful, we'll move into larger communities like the community of Discovery Bay, and we'll try contact DB Magazine because the public is quite hard to reach with such a small team. Um, in the Discovery Bay Magazine, we'll try to write an article to educate again about this issue and tell them about what we plan to do for our community. And then we'll, in besides that, we'll also target um, specific restaurants and private businesses to to see if they'll change their plastic consumption habits into a more environmentally friendly area, um, such as Hemingway's, which is a restaurant in Discovery Bay that has never used plastic substances, and also Uncle Ross Coffee, which has cups made out of corn. I think this is extremely good and it shows great environmental awareness in our community. So in order to complete our AAA action plan, we're going to take and impose on our school three points. These three points will be, the, in the basic manner, will be creating incentive not to buy plastic water bottles, founding a new public action youth club within our school, 
and by cutting down on our cafeteria's general plastic usage. <coughs> Sorry. Um, to create the incentive not to buy water bottles, we will be raising the price of water from $10 to $20. This is not only going to stop people from mindlessly buying plastic water bottles, but in addition, the extra charge will be going towards our pla Plastic Action Youth Club. Which brings me to our second point, which is creating the PAYC Club. The Plastic Action Youth Club will be the incorporation of all secondary and primary year representatives that will come together and discuss the, effect the effectiveness of our awareness and action programs, the ways we can improve the further extension of our programs, and once our programs have been set in motion, we'll inflate our ideas to improve our local community in Discovery Bay. The, er the third aspect of our AAA action plan AKA TAP, is to cut down on our cafeteria's general plastic usage. We're going to do this by providing them with alternate, alternate resources that are environmentally friendly. For example, instead of using plastic cups, biodegradable place, um, paper cups can be used. Instead of using plastic straws, we can use compostable straws. Um, there are many alternatives that will solve our plastic solution. So now is the time we need to impose them. Our three-step plan, audit, awareness, and action, is our key to reducing the plastic consumption and therefore waste in Discovery College and in time Discovery Bay. We hope to inspire our community to take better action, to take better action because our present and future generations depend on it. Our waste is our responsibility.